Okay, fam, so I'm just going to focus on one very, very important um, just fact pertaining to the case of the um, little boy, Cash, who was found, you know, killed in Dallas um, not too long ago. This was just like within the past month. So there is so much that could be said about this case and all of the people that are involved. I want to make it clear that I am not suggesting that they have the wrong person in custody, but I am suggesting that they there's definitely more to the story. And there there's a, a lot of reasons why I, I feel that way. But I'm going to play this clip. Um, and this is going to be pertaining to the the boy that's currently in custody. Um, and uh, and Dar- it's Darian, or however you pronounce his name. And what the neighbor of the sitter okay monica what she um or what that neighbor had to say about her and and when the boy tried to kidnap his granddaughter a couple months prior to when cash was kidnapped out of his bed court records also revealed in february brown broke into a home a few doors down from where the four-year-old lived assaulted a homeowner and tried to take his two-year-old granddaughter The grandfather only pressed charges three days after Cash was found dead. And according to court documents, he did not press charges right away because Monica Sherrod claimed Brown was going through a mental crisis and would sometimes stay at her house. Harris confirms Brown had been to a mental health facility, but was later released. Based on what I believe is, 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 uh, I'm going to. Okay, so I don't know if you if everybody has already heard that um, or paid attention to it. But let me tell you why that bothers me so much, okay? There is a man who lived, he wasn't a next door neighbor of Monica Sherrod's or anything. He lived down the street. And one night when the boy, uh, Darian, I keep calling him a boy, the 18 year old, right? When he went into his home, and, you know, grabbed his, you know, touched his two-year-old granddaughter. He said that Monica Sherrod then went to him and asked him not to press charges. Now, I want you to think about that, okay? The only way that she could have possibly known, think about this, the only way Monica could have even known would be what? I'm assuming that the boy, after leaving that guy's house, went over to Monica's house and told Monica, right? Because there's other articles. If you look this up, there's articles and there's other news clips that you can find where the man states that grandfather, he states that Monica went over there that evening so right after everything happened with his granddaughter he gets a visit from monica asking him not to arrest darian isn't that insane to all of you listening because that's crazy to me i just can't understand for the life of me if if i knew that a neighbor of of mine that someone you know uh tried to kidnap their kid, right? Never could I imagine going up to that person whose child had, there, there would have been, there had been an attempted kidnapping on and say, oh, you know what? I know the guy who tried to take your, your child or grandchild. So so you and you know he's just going through some things could could you just not call the cops on him like what what kind of close relationship did monica sherrod have to this 18 year old that she would ever do something like that is what i don't understand so that alone amongst many other you know odd things about 
all of the players in this case give me a bad feeling. Um, I, and I just wanted to get everyone else's opinion on, on that. If you guys knew about that, if that struck you as odd or like, why do you think she did that? And, and, it, and if she really knows him that well and she's that close to him, why did she pretend initially like she didn't know who he was at all? Her story went from she doesn't know him to, oh, well, yeah, he, he's came over, you know, to the house sometimes. And, and, and now come to find out the truth is basically that he was extremely close, right? So why do you think their story is changing? I, I, she also claimed that she forgot she even had surveillance cameras, but I, I, I digress on that. I just want to make this about this little point that really, really doesn't sit right with me and get your guys' opinion. So bye for now.